Hey there, Jed Coburnus here from jedcoburnus.com and welcome to Talk Therapy. This is just a tool that I use to get to know myself, to get past my analytical mind, and hopefully inspire somebody else to give it a shot. <clears throat> Actually hit record and just let it all out, right? You don't have to share it to the world like I do, but boy, this is a, it's a great way to just just to let go of a lot of emotion. Give it a shot. I don't ever really think about what I'm gonna talk about. I just hit record and go, well, let's see how I feel today. <clears throat> Believe me, it gets easier and easier and easier. Just like everything else, it takes practice. I got the vest on and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that because yesterday, <clears throat> the Cobernation, Team Cobernation met up Mondays and Wednesdays from 5 to 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Anybody can join, right? <clears throat> if you're not in Rozo at that time, you can join via FaceTime or Google Hangouts. Or That's what the cool thing about the uh, internet is, right? And, and all of this fun technology is we feel like we're actually in the same spot when we're not. <clears throat> So anyway, you know, just a quick plug for that for anybody watching. So I appreciate the Cobra Nation because they just push, they push me. And that's what I'm about to just talk about is yesterday we were doing the wad and I've started to do the wads with people who show up uh, just because I'm wearing this 60 pound weight vest. And by the way, 60 pounds, when you buy a weight vest, it doesn't actually weigh 60 pounds. This one weighed about, I think like 52 or 54 pounds. And if I say, I'm the person, if I say it's gonna weigh, like it's a 60 pound weight vest, it better damn well be 60 pounds. So I actually went and bought some steel plates for this thing and now it weighs exactly 60 pounds, which you know, six to eight pounds difference. It's quite a way, quite a bit, and I and, and I feel it. But anyway, so we were doing the wad yesterday, and I'm pretty conditioned, right? Like my body is is pretty conditioned to what I want it to do. I have chronic pain. I have you know a kind of a blown knee, but whatever. Like I keep it strong. I keep my body healthy. But yesterday, I wanted to get that wad done. I wanted to get that workout like over with because I was struggling, right? And I think that's the point. That's the point of this 60 pound vest is to feel the struggle that people go through. <laughs> and this morning I was thinking to myself, man, maybe I shouldn't wear the vest because you know, it doesn't look good when I'm sitting there in the middle of the workout going, geez, when is this over? Or like, holy buckets, like this is really hard. <clears throat> but it's because of that thought process. That's why I'll just keep wearing it because, I mean, I'm not going to, I don't think it, I don't think people feel, can relate or feel good to to somebody who doesn't understand what they're going through. Like that's what I wanna do is the relatability is massive. Yes, while it looks a little unprofessional, if you will, to be in the middle of my own workout, right? Going, oh, when is this over? Like we're halfway through, let's keep going, come on. And then at the same time saying, oh shit, this is hard, but I think that's the real, the authentic piece is, you know, everybody's thinking the same thing. <clears throat> I think today's day and age, not even think, like I know, today's day and age, people, people's bullshit meters are at an all time high. So if every time I do a workout and be like, yeah, 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 this is awesome guys, woohoo, right? And not struggle, and, they, and a person would never see me struggle, I don't, I think I would push a lot of people away because they're like, man, is that guy ever in a bad mood? Is that guy just perfect all the time? No, 
right? Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect, man. I'm far from it, but that's the point. And this vest really is bringing that out. The, the vest really brings those emotions to the surface, which is okay, right? Like, that's the point. It's, it's just a lot of fun because <clears throat> people around, you know, the team around me, they're just, they know, they're like, because we're trying to have some conversation in between, in the workout, which is awesome. Like, that's some of the best conversation ever. But I couldn't keep up with the conversation because I was struggling so hard. They're like, yep, okay, what's next? And I was just like, uh, that's why I write them all down for one. But, <clears throat> you know, once you get to the third round, you kind of know the sequence, and I didn't know. And they're just like, yeah, you're trying to get done with the workout. It's like, yes, you're 100% right. Like, it's good. It's a good thing. Because now I'm feeling it. Now, the, the question is, is, when do I stop feeling it, right? Like, when do I stop wearing the vest? When do I stop? I don't know. That I, that I don't know. And I love that I don't know. I'm loving it and, and letting it go. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> but the more I wear it, the more I, I understand. Like, putting on my shoes is difficult, right? I can't imagine actually having all of this weight distributed on my body going oh wow right I mean I can now because of this vest but like actually the running after the kids you know that gets a little exhausting I get it so moving from that like I don't know I don't know how long I'll wear it I People are starting to notice though, like it's a good thing. Not not like, hey, look at me, but like they're noticing the vest is not a threat. Like that's the biggest piece. This vest is not a threat by any means. It's just the awareness, right? The vest to chest challenge, more or less. But the empathy that a person gains, like if a trainer has never been overweight, that'd be a good question to ask a new, like if you're gonna hire a trainer, that'd be a great question to ask. Have you ever had any weight issues yourself? Have you ever thought about understanding what that feels like? Because if they haven't, they ought to, right? Like, this, this, this right here, at least in my opinion, should be part of the curriculum to be a personal trainer, at the very least, right? Like, <clears throat> here's another opinion piece, but a personal trainer should have at least an associate's degree in exercise science. At least, that's a two-year degree. <clears throat> and it would be awesome if they could regulate the field and say you need a four-year degree, bachelor's degree in exercise science to be a personal trainer. That would be nice. But anyway, on top of that, within the curriculum, a person should be required to wear some kind of extra weight. Because then it gains the empathy one would need to understand what their clients are going through. Now, if a trainer was, was uh, <clears throat> training athletes, probably wouldn't need to wear it, right? But how many trainers actually make it to the athletic level? To actually training, uh, you know, NFL athletes, NHL athletes, tennis players. I mean, whatever, like professional athletes. Not many. Not many. The sad truth is, is the percentage of people who think they're going to be, you know, something is probably 1%, right? 99% of people suck shit because they just not they're not dedicated enough I mean I get it right like I'm one of them I, I don't train professional athletes I'm not outside of that but I don't need to I don't want to I want to train the general population like people like me 
and that's why I put on the vest. And I think people in college right now need to understand that kind of empathy, that kind of depth. Forget about width, right? Like, forget about how many workouts you've created, how many people you've trained. If you haven't completely understood their journey, their process, their life, then you haven't understand, understood shit. You just haven't. And that's the struggle that I went through last night. That was like, that was big. That was a big moment where I'm like, wow. Okay, I'm on to something here. And wearing this vest more and more gives me the understanding that I need, basically. And what other people need. I went to the store last night, again, right? And I just don't care anymore. Like, I kept it on. It was funny because I kept the vest on. I could have taken it off. Because it's just a choice, right? But I could have taken it off. But in my own head, the path of least resistance, like as a human being, we always look for the path of least, the path of least resistance. <clears throat> Meaning, if we, we're gonna do it the easiest way possible. Whatever it is, whatever we're gonna get it done, we're gonna do the easiest way. Well, the easiest way is not always the best way, but that's another conversation. So, I could have taken it off, but it would take more effort to take the weight vest off, go into the store, get whatever I needed, go home, put the vest back on, get the vest to the house, and then take it back off. Think about that, right? I didn't want to do all that work. I get it. <laughs> Can you imagine having 60 extra pounds on your body or more? And having to move that weight all the time, you're choosing each day to go through that. The question that I ask is why? Why are you choosing that life? I'm choosing this voluntarily because maybe that will help me understand what you're going through every day. Very interesting. Very interesting. Activities of daily living. Waking up. Putting on clothes. Tying your shoes. Taking the kids to school. Going to work. You know, everything. What does that feel like with extra weight? And why would we continue to have that extra weight on her body. Why would we choose that? I don't know. And I love that I don't. Just throwing it out there. Seeing what happens. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good... Those are good questions. If anybody has any answers, hook me up, right? Why do we choose that? What's your alternative? What, how else can you live? How do you get there? How long will it take? I don't know. It's up to the person to choose that. I've just found a way, right? That works for me. And, and now the cobernation to combat those questions, to answer those questions. It just takes time and practice. Consistency, determination, and community. Lots of stuff. Lots of fun stuff, actually. Just each day, each wad, each conversation gets better and better. This is a good one. So, as always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.